Tai jūtas jūnet uz auzumu. Power door just stuck in the middle. No matter how you try to open it with remote control or button, or even manually, it just don't go anywhere. It's stuck. If you short on time and you still need to close your door, you need to take off this cover first. For that, you need to use either Phillips screwdriver or 10 mm wrench head. Uh, using prying tool, pry out this cover right here and just slide it uh, toward the passenger side like that. Here is a pull cable which you need to take off this hook. Using the screwdriver just pry it out and uh, turn to 90 degrees and uh, trying to pull out. This cable goes inside and it goes to this pulley and uh, this motor actually have to move this cable back and forth. There is a control model which located behind this cable inside this wall. This control model actually control the movement of this cable back and forth. When power door stuck like that, it's not the control module we need to worry about. It's the coating on the cable which actually stuck everywhere in the pulley. Parts of whole mechanism. I tried to clean this coating of the cable in hope that um, the whole mechanism will be still in working condition, but actually it didn't help much. The cable just wouldn't move in and out of this pulley mechanism. So I decided to disassemble this pulley mechanism. And when I took off the cover I could see this coating stuck everywhere in the pulley mechanism and it didn't allow cable to move freely inside and out. I cleaned the whole cable of this coating and uh, tried to put all things back and um, actually I couldn't because uh, I think it should be some special tools for that. Well anyway, the control module which is hidden behind this wall just stopped reacting on the opening and closing signals from remote. It just didn't control the motor anymore. So I pull out this control module and try to figure out what else I could do with that. I disassemble it and I try to resolder it and I end up with um, reflowing the whole thing with heat gun. Actually it didn't help much. The control module just stopped working for some reason. And I try to I replaced this um, capacitor and still didn't work. So let me think. This control module cost $267 at Toyota Parts, new one. I couldn't find for Toyota 2000 control module on eBay and there is no warranty that this used control module will work after all. The same thing goes for the pulley assembly with motor. On a eBay you may can find the cheapest one but uh, there is no warranty at all that it will work and that uh, you will not end up with the same problem again. The new pulley assembly with motor and cables which you cannot find in eBay uh, separately also would cost $1216. Combining the prices for both control module and uh, pulley assembly. This price is astronomically high to fix 19 years old Toyota power door. I decided to disconnect control module, disconnected the alarm speaker, disconnected cables which would hold the sliding door and prevent it from sliding it. And um, that's it. Price too high. Thank you, but no thank you. I still can close it with my hand.